my whole thing is when I know something is true, but can't nobody else see it, like his coach got him on the B team when really I seen him do this in the sixth grade. <laughs> It'd be kind of like, what? But um, with that being said, next thing you know, I look up. <laughs> this is a true story. This is a true story. Freshman year, BT. You know, next thing you know, I look up, and you on the side, uh, and you on varsity, going about to get, go on a tournament run with Lawrence North as a young freshman. Now all of a sudden, looking like the '84 Jordan that I seen back in the sixth grade. Yeah. Um, before we go into what hindered that run, how did that, how did that run feel? What, uh, finally just getting on the, what, varsity? Yeah, just when you out there at varsity and you saying, okay, lights, camera, action. Are you saying when I start dressing varsity or when I start playing? When you start starting. Okay, but see, what happened? So that freshman year ends, I'm on the, on the B team, but end up starting this, at the end of that year, they start letting us dress JV. Yeah. I think they even let us have a little varsity, uh, watch the varsity with the little shirt on, the shooting shirt and shit on one guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the next year, we had uh, Coach Bush was the JV coach. Bush. Shout out to Bush. Bush won the state championship at LA under Kiefer at that time. Yeah, smart man. So all the, the year before, he used to tell me and a couple other partners that was, that was on the freshman team or the B team, he was like, man, don't, next year you're going to be starting JV. We gonna, don't even worry about all this. We already know how good you are. This okay. is nothing. That background reassurance. So, uh that second year, that second year start, our sophomore year start off starting JV, we killing, 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 to the point we scrimmaging the yeah. varsity, and uh, Bush will pull us to the side like, man, y'all can beat these, y'all can beat them. Yeah. They ain't really better than y'all. Y'all really better than them. Yeah. I was telling them this last year. Yeah. We beating the varsity in yeah, uh yeah. in the in practices. Uh, yeah. And that's when yeah. Kiefer, our uh, the main coach, top yeah. dog, I think the best coach in Indiana history. I started recognizing. Yeah. He started seeing what I was doing in them practices. We was just killing them. Then we had, I had another partner that was a guard named uh, Ed Whitney, which was great too. Squeezy. Squeezy. My yeah, man, yeah, my yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was great on, and actually was above me at that time. Oh, uh, yeah, because see, I met him before you. Yeah. But but I'm, I'm a. He was on the Jordan Jammer already. Yeah, but me and Squeezy got so. Like, it went from like we used to be both killing when we was young, when we was yeah. real younger, and then one summer he like cut out, went with his uncles, them there like a whole summer. Yeah. He came back like he was on some grown man type shit. Yeah. But our, he still like to me, we still played and we would go one on one. It still was like the same to me. I still was like a win. I ain't never really lose to a motherfucker. But right, but real killer though, and complimentary if you really look at it. Squeezy started getting way better, and then yeah. once we got the LN. Like going eighth grade, they really wasn't trying to play neither one of us that much. But once we got to LN school, Easy Start was killing. Freshman year, yeah. later he already was on the uh, varsity type shit. Mm -hmm. Even killing him to me, I was like, shit, damn, there should be starting varsity at that freshman. Yeah. Type shit. But uh. I don't know what ended up happening, man. Squeezy ended up coming back with us because they wasn't letting him play a lot on JV, and we just, nigga, beating every JV team by 20, 30 points, and then eventually Kiefer was just like, man, just bring this over. He couldn't even keep us down on JV no more. He just brought us up. And out the blue, though, we practicing, and he told me, uh, get ready to play. You might be playing a little bit more than usual, so I'm thinking I'm probably going to get in, because we was already getting in at the end of the game. was already just started. We had the last, last five minutes or something. We'll get in thinking we're doing some shit. Nigga, the next day I'm practicing with the starters. Yeah. And I'm, hey, in my head, I'm thinking, like, damn. I can't even be, everybody look, all my little partners, everybody looking around, like, damn, DB started playing with the starters? Yeah, yeah. Nigga, I started the next game. Started that motherfucker. I got in that motherfucker nervous in the motherfucker. Yeah. Because I went from just barely playing to just starting. Well, that shit fucked me up. So, like, nigga, freshman year I was on the end of it on the B team. Second year, motherfucker would have never thought this nigga would be starting varsity as a sophomore. Little skinny nigga from Post Story. Would have never thought. I mean, I, not saying you. I'm just saying most of them people that I guarantee that freshman coach, that freshman coach, I had yeah, to have me on the B team didn't think I was gonna be starting right, varsity the next year. Right, that neural mind that had that neural system yeah. where everybody got paid or knew somebody that played. Yeah, I ain't talking about you, you, of you course. On you, you said something to my coach in the eighth grade, ninth grade, a long time ago, to his face, as in you was a teenager. 
Man, Most listen, motherfuckers man, don't do that, that was shit one like of that. the coldest things I ever seen on a basketball court to this day. What? When you did that in the sixth grade. Oh, yeah. That's how serious it was. I mean, you know, that's the beauty of being the uh, eye of the beholder, because even the person that did it sometimes don't remember. You know, but I, I remember that forever, and I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. um, with that being said, um, so at this point, you break your hand. Nope, I ain't break my hand. What'd you do? I seen you in the arm cast nope. at Eagle Field House nope. or something. I tore, I tore my ACL as a okay. sophomore. Okay. So this, I signed up, like I said, I finished the year. I started, I'm doing our thing. We winning. Uh-huh. We start the, uh, the, the tournament off. We win our first little uh, sectional. First little three sectional games. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we get to go to the regionals. Yeah. So we get to play, uh, what do we play? We eventually play B BD. But it's crazy because we got Derek Davenport that transferred from BD to our school that same year. Yeah, Deport. Derek Davenport. Deport, my nigga. Then Deport acting a fool. Mm -hmm. So we get to regionals. And the practice before regionals, we doing some type of bullshit ass shit at practice. <laughs> I did something fuck with Kiefer. Tore my ACL. He, and now I, I fall, I mean, I, I fall to the ground. I'm thinking like, damn, I, I know it's like, can't, I, I ain't never had nothing that serious happen. I'm yeah. only, we only, what, 15, 16 at this mm -hmm. time? We sophomores. Yeah. But my knee shit, feel like I felt something popping. I just can't damn near, I can't get it together, so I'm sitting on the side and people are like, ah, oh, come on, you, you're all right type shit. And I'm like, nah, I ain't all right, bro. He's like, man, come on. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm something wrong with my shit. You think I ain't gonna get up? Think there's something wrong? So the trainer come out, the trainer stretching it out like, ah, oh, he probably just sprung it, he sprung it, he sprung it. And I get to the crib, my mother picked me up, I go to the crib, we're going up, the, I'm walking up the stairs in our little apartment. My knees are swelled up like this big. Mm. Oh, no, we thinking, uh, we don't know what's fucking wrong. I'm hoping I just sprung it because I really don't know what's going on. So I go to school the next couple of days, end up having a doctor's appointment, knee specialist, Dr. Shelbourne. <laughs> he is one of the best uh, knee surgeons in the, in the city, mm -hmm. in Indiana, period. And I went, goes up to his office, he did the little x-rays, he came back like, man, you done. You did. You tore your ACL. It's like one of the worst things you can do to your fucking knee. And I'm only 16. So I tore my ACL right before the regionals. Yeah. And I definitely believe we was about to win the regionals for sure. And we, I think we had a chance to win state. Yeah, y'all was looking real smooth when you was out there my, running. My coach, my, my Kiefer came up to me after we lost to Ben Davis and said, man, you cost me a state championship. I believe it. And uh, that's a, that's as serious as it can get right there. Does that have anything to do with you saying that he's the best coach in history? Because uh, uh, he's a, he's a, he's a, we need to have him on the show. He's a bad man, uh, legendary, and um, definitely like right there with those. Uh, Spurs coaches and those old Chicago and LA coaches. He's he top of the line. You know. I mean, um, we we left. I left on bad. We left each other on bad terms, but I still give him that much uh, at the same utmost time, respect. I feel like Doug Mitchell has something to say about that. Yeah. For um, sure. BD coach. What's BD old uh, coach name? Uh, uh, what, what's my guy name? Shout out to Alan Darner. I'm sure. Darner from Pike has something to say about it. Yeah, Rodney coach has yeah, something to say yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but what's what's BDO coach's name? Steve Witty. Witty Witty definitely has something to say about it. But I give him all respect. But I still don't think nobody was better than Kiefer. Fair enough. So um, going forward, now it's showtime. You back off an of injury. But before that, you know, an interesting thing happened is um, when you came off the injury. We had started running back into each other around the time you was thinking about getting out of L.A. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing about me is I pride myself on uh, seeing who's who. And what, what it ended up turning into is anybody that was ever who, I got a piece of them one-on-one. -on -one. And normally, I've been victorious up until this point coming into uh what was this about 16 years old so we go so, I, so, so I was it was this the our junior, the end of our junior year 
in our junior year. Yeah. Definitely See, I already didn't play Gardner. I didn't play May. I didn't play uh, Eddie B. I didn't play the best. Top to bottom, big the littles. Big Rodney. I didn't see him. So I'm like, all right, I want a piece of you. So we decided to We probably to drive. ain't played nothing like that, like that, but it's just us two in a long time. Uh, I remember when we have, but um, let's think right here real quick. Um, so this is the thing that struck me. You had the ability to go real fast, real swift, herky-jerky, and pull up on a dime with a feathery touch. Like most people, when you're running fast and switching moves, they short arm it or they mm -hmm. overshoot it. But as I'm listening to you, and it's almost like you wasn't aware, it was almost like Miss is a girl's name. Like that was a second option. You just was one with the moment and it was all fluid. Well, about at that, at that time, I pretty much, I knew. Right. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't no, wasn't no thinking no more. Yeah. I remember when we played, as I said, we played on that, uh, it was a court, it was the old uh, elementary school. And it had like five or six courts. Yeah, 113, yeah. yeah. And we was, we like juniors, and I, we, I know, I knew when we was going to play that you was, that you was like, I just want to